I'm going to show you basic mastering. Real quick before we begin, I know there are a lot of people out there, especially mastering engineers, who think mastering your music is a cardinal sin. In fact, there are mastering engineers who cringe at the thought of someone mastering their own music. Um, but I've asked several pro mixing engineers in person, hey, do you master your own music? And they say, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So. Personally, I always encourage somebody to send their music out if you have the money to master your own music. However, I don't think it's the end of the world if you, you know, feel the need to master your own music. Here I got this pop pump track. So just like mixing, I started out with EQ and please, please remember uh, you making very subtle moves when it comes to mastering. I would say no more than one, maybe two dB max of adding or subtracting um, because you're affecting the whole mix, not just an uh, individual instrument. But um, I put a low cut over here um, up to 25 because in, especially in rock songs, you don't need anything below 25 hertz. And then I took some about 2 dB out of the low mids in the 300 and 600 section. Next to the chain is a little bit of compression and same mindset with the EQ. You do not want to do big moves. I recommend one, maybe 2 dB of gain reduction max on your masters. Um, I'm using the VBC Red um, from Slate and I'm actually using it the way um, I watch Slate himself do it when he's mastering his own music. So he has it at a 1.5 ratio. I just left the attack alone, um, auto release. And then um, here over here on the drive, I had it up to four and then I did a high pass up to 130 and I'm doing about four dB of gain reduction. Check it out. Justice. But the trick is I have it on 50% mix to kind of give it that parallel effect. So it's really only doing about 2 dB of gain reduction. Next, I kind of consider these next steps a little bit optional, but just trust your ear um, and go from there. But uh, it's very common for people to throw a multiband compressor on their master. Um, here, I'm just compressing around the low mids and the upper mids to just kind of you know tame it and give a little bit more clarity. So I'm, if you look over to the left, I'm doing about you know two or three dB of gain reduction in the, in the mids. last uh, part in my mastering chain and what I would say is the meat and potatoes of mastering is a limiter and what a limiter is going to do is it's going to increase the overall loudness of your track um, and you want to increase the overall loudness so that way when you upload your song to Spotify your song is going to be at this roughly the same volume as professionally mastered tracks on like you know like I said Spotify or SoundCloud um, I'm, for time I'm just going to kind of save you the process but um, you basically turn the threshold down until you see the song hovering around negative 10 to negative 9. And I had to do a little bit of um, increase the gain a little bit because I lost some volume. Check it out. Remember, this is just a basic template for mastering. There's all other kinds of things you can do like uh, mid-side EQ, saturation, or um, stereo widening. But just you know, give it a shot.